Hello and welcome back to Orgo Chem World. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, radical halogenation of alkanes. Uh, I'm taking a pretty much a big step away from where we currently are in the video series, um, but this is because of a request, and I do not mind helping people out. So I'm going to go over some uh, of these radical halogenations. All right, let's just start off with an easy example. All right, we want to. Uh, halogenate ethane. Alright. So we're gonna, whoops. We're gonna start off by doing this with, whoa, sorry. With chlorine. Ugh. Alright. And, uh, we'll add some light to this reaction. Uh, you can add either light or heat in order to get this to happen. But um, aside from that, we're going to start off with there's three there's three distinct steps that happen with these kinds of reactions. They're called the initiation, the propagation, and the termination steps. Now, um, obviously, initiation is the start. The initiation is the formation of the free radicals. So we're going to initiate sorry these electrons are not showing up so we're gonna create a free radical with this reaction basically whenever you add light to this system these molecules are going to be excited and the electrons are going to leave now when you draw the half arrows that means obviously just one and so we'll end up with a product of two chlorines in their radical form. Okay, now <coughs> the definition of an initiation would be uh, just something I would uh, define it as would be the, uh, the formation of uh, free radical. Okay, and now we have the propagation step. Now, uh, this is also going to be considered the step at, where, at which you have a chain reaction uh, with the main, basically this is the, the main part of the reaction. So what happens in our case here, so we'll just write chain reaction up here. Okay, so now we have the CH3, CH2, H, and we're going to react it with chlorine. With the chlorine free radical that we obtained from over here. And I'll just draw a line here. Oh, not very accurate with my drawings tonight. Okay, so that's that same chlorine, and now what happens is that I'm going to go ahead and erase that so we can have this room. Is that the hydrogen and the chlorine are going to form a bond through abstraction of the hydrogen atom which will yield a product that looks like so. Oh, forgot to draw one arrow. CH, whoa, goodness. CH3, CH2 with our free radical on there, plus hydrochloric acid. Okay, now we'll move this down. CH three C H two and oh, react it with some more of our chlorine. Okay. And now okay and from this point we have um, this free radical will abstract a chlorine mo molecule uh, goodness. right 
here and this chlorine will get its own electron and so this will create CH3, CH2, Cl plus a chlorine for radical. Now this is part, this is where the chain reaction starts, um, what I was talking about earlier. This chlorine actually propagates the entire process because it's that chlorine. Uh, not specifically, but it, it comes to act as that chlorine. This first chlorine comes from this reaction. Okay. And once this uh, initiation step uh, starts off, the propagation step, or the propagation, uh, yeah, uh, step for the reaction, it goes through the cycle and it can only be stopped with the termination, which will be what we talk about next. Now this is just the the ending of the reaction or the um, the chain reaction actually ordering of or ending of chain reaction now this generally happens in three or four ways depending on how like what kind of um, intermediates you you get during the reaction but in this case um, the termination step can happen as you get like a free radical, uh, two of the chlorine free radicals that happen to collide possibly from this right here from this step, uh, chlorine from there, maybe from the beginning uh, react and create just a regular uh, diatomic molecule. And then uh, possibly we have CH3, CH to this free radical reacting with this one and get these two to react with one another okay sorry that's a little off kilter um, and then uh, or you could just have this reaction basically what we wanted to get in the first place. And this can actually end the, the entire reaction. Oops. And so when those combine, they end the entire reaction. Um, I will do a couple more examples of this and then we'll move on, but I have a lot of different things I'm going to hit. Uh, in the next couple of videos and they're not going to be uh, organic one so um, if you want to keep tuned for those that's great uh, you can be exposed to something you'll be getting into later but um, yeah thanks for watching